I wanted our hero dinosaurs, especially our giganotosaurians, who really live in their environment. It was very important to me that we didn't just have this abstract character as a dinosaur turn up looking the wrong colour in the wrong place or the wrong shape or the wrong size. This is the biggest front half of a dinosaur that's ever been built in Jurassic World. It's absolutely massive. We were looking at the size of it, and the Giga is six metres high in real life and 15 metres long. We're talking the size of a double-decker bus. They would have all weighed in the ballpark of somewhere between five and eight tons and the size of a few elephants put together. Both T-Rex and Giganotosaurus had enormous heads the size of a bathtub. We knew that we could create an animatronic face. We knew we could create the skin, but the neck and holding that skin and the head off the ground, that needed something a lot bigger than what creature effects normally do. Jason Lindstad saw the designs of the scale creature that we made, and he built a massive version which takes the weight of the head, which is about a ton. So it's just an amazing achievement.